All right, there we go. We are back. Let me just grab this uh, link real quick and back me up. See if I can't post it. All right, hopefully this will be a little bit better. Uh, I reduced my bitrate pretty substantially, so it might look bad. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll be a little better. Stream has died. Nope, we're back. This is better? Okay. Good, and welcome back, everybody. I'm going to re-advertise the stream real quick, and then, yeah. Okay, there's that. I'll re-advertise on Discord real quick and then we'll be good. Stream died. Okay, we're good to go. Now that was a good sip of coffee. We live. Yeah, take two. Here we go. So, there's only a couple of us here, but nonetheless, I will treat you to the maiden voyage. The maiden voyage of the condor. The Halo Reach condor, that is. This is honestly a good view. It's got some half-decent animations. You know, not bad, not bad. Overall, I would say it is becoming a good Reach-style condor. And of course it still has the cool boost from the OG Condor vehicle I did. Average Pelican ban, a fan versus the based Condor enjoyer. True. Eric Raphael, thank you very much for the fiver. Did you stop the stream to go see a wizard doctor? Because you sound better now. So my voice, my voice is good. Look, okay, if I talk in a low tone, I think my voice is pretty good, right? My voice sounds not bad right now. But if I talk in a higher tone, it immediately sucks ass. So maybe I should just talk in a lower tone for most of the stream, if possible. Did you know there's already a classic version of the Condor in Halo Infinite? Like there's a completed, non-destroyed version of the files that someone already ripped. Yeah, actually, I know the person who ripped that and they sent me the files for it and I, I have it on my PC. I'm not going to upload it, or not upload it. I'm not going to show it on stream though because it's like a gazillion um, triangles and my PC would fucking lag its ass. I'm trying to stream and edit that. However, that Condor was partially the inspiration for some of the edits I did to this. In fact, I'm gonna open Blender right now to show you what I'm talking about. Actually, I don't think I need to open Blender just yet. Ah, whatever. Let me show you, so Halo Infinite Condor. So I was inspired by the, <clears throat> excuse me, I was inspired by the Halo Infinite Condor as well as the Halo Wars 2 Condor because obviously the Halo Wars 2 Condor is pretty dope. So there's a couple things I like about Infinite's Condor and there's a couple things I don't like. So let me show you this first. This is the Halo Infinite Condor, okay? Long story short, it's kind of fucking weird looking, all right? Now, peace and love and all that comes with that, um, you know, it is it is in fact a condor. And yes, it really is real and it does exist within Halo Infinite. However, 
It's weird looking, okay? <clears throat> so, what I mean by that, oh my god, that cleared up my voice a lot. What I mean by that is, the Halo Infinite Pelican is pretty much the Halo Reach Pelican, right? The Halo Infinite Pelican is like almost identical, which is why I liked this idea so much, because going through and making a Halo Reach Condor was also sorta kinda making a Halo Infinite Condor and, um, you know, Halo Infinite Pelican to Halo Infinite Condor. If I wanted to make the Halo Infinite Condor, I could, but there's actually a lot of aspects of the classic Condor design that I think are a lot better. For example, I think the back engines on the uh, Halo Wars Condor look way cooler. Look how stretched his butt looks. Like, like, let's be real here, okay? So how did they make the Halo Infinite Condor? Well, obviously, first of all, they stretched... Let me open this in a big image. They took the body of the Pelican, right? This section right here, and they just went more or less, and they stretched it. And you can even see it here. That in this picture, it's literally just got a really long bay, right? Like the bay where you like you sit in it is just stretched really far. Um, so there's there's three major edits for the Halo Infinite Condor. They stretched out the middle part, the bay, a lot. Looks kind of goofy, but hey, that's what they did. The the wing engines have been stretched a lot too. If you notice the wing engines here, like this is the regular wing. The engines on them are a lot longer, like a lot longer. Um, and the other thing you'll notice, well, I guess there's a couple different differences, and it's got these bigger fins on the back, right? And it's got an extra engine. So the difference, but are Condors slip space capable? Yes, yes, Condors are slip space capable vehicles. It kind of looks like the cut troop variant of the Pelican in CE. Oh, I kind of forgot that was a thing. I haven't heard of that in so long. <clears throat> but anyway, so the way the engine setup is on the Halo Infinite Condor is they just have the regular engine and then they have a smaller engine below it. Oh, you can't really see it too well. Hold on. So it's like they have like so long fins, which I did in fact put on mine, right? It's got the long fins. It might need to be a little taller, to be honest. But anyway, it's got the bigger fins. Plus these big side fins, which the infinite condor doesn't even have. Meanwhile, uh, the... <clears throat> anyway, uh, so yeah, small engines right there. Versus the Halo Wars condor, which has really big engines. Like, it's got like the small engines on top, right? And then instead of a smaller engine on the bottom, it's got these even bigger ones, which looks way cooler. Like, imagine if I had this... But instead of having these big engines right here on the bottom that are like larger, they were just like smaller and just kind of tacked on. I'm afraid to say that would look way lamer. And it also these giant wings that are on the side, on the back, those would be gone too because the infinite pelican doesn't have that. So I'm gonna be honest, I feel like infinite's uh, condor design is not that good. Though I will say one thing I did take from infinite's condor design that I, I do like is these wings. Um, the wings here. I flood music, the f um, the wings. I stretched out the engines a bit, uh, which I, I thought was kind of cool. I, I don't know, it kind of grew on me. So I, I pulled the engines and I stretched them a bit like this way, and I thought that was kind of cool. It kind of differentiated it from the pelican because my, the one thing I want to do with this is I don't want it to feel like a pelican. I want this to feel like a separate vehicle. My biggest complaint right now is it more or less feels like a pelican. Like, I'll be real. It does. So I need to find some extra ways to differentiate it from the Pelican. So if I have extended the troop bay. The troop bay is longer. The engines on the side wings are longer. The back itself is longer and thick, much thicker. It's a bit stretched. I'll have to retexture it at some point and redo the UVs. But yeah, the back comes down. It's got the big engines. It's got the bigger wings. Um, and more or less, it's just a stretched Pelican with more fins, more engines, bigger engines, and a bigger troop bay. And it's kind of a hybrid right now between the uh, the actual Halo Wars 2 Condor and the Halo Infinite Condor. It's, it's got aspects of both of them. Does it have no landing legs? So not right now. What I need to do, <coughs> excuse me, 
is add landing legs on the back here. Currently doesn't have any, but I need to add some smaller landing legs on the back and I need to add the landing legs here. In fact, I was hoping to do that on stream today because I've got uh, the animation file and everything open right now in Blender. Uh, Eric Raphael, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. You said, did you stop? Oh no, I already read that, my bad, my bad. Uh, and Skaboodly Doodle, good to see you. <clears throat> As always, thank you very much for that fiver. If you wanna make a hybrid between the infinite and Halo series Condor, you can make the wing engine shift it out to the side more. Google pictures. Ah, uh, yeah, the um, Halo TV show. Here, wow, I like how my thumbnail comes up. Yeah, so I actually really like the uh, design of the Halo TV show Condor because it's like a really interesting custom hybrid where it's got like the Halo 4 slash Halo Wars 2 wings and it's got like the cockpit of Halo Reach and then the body like blends into the Halo Wars 2 body and it's it got the engines from Halo 4. It's more or less like the Halo Wars 2 Condor but like smoothed out and with the cockpit of, of uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the cockpit of like Halo Reach. Would you be able to make it so the Condor's windscreen opens up like a falcon? Um, no, I would leave that to Abyss. I don't know if Abyss is going to do that, but he is making a this style of um, Condor, but in, with like the real high quality Halo 4 assets. So if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be him. <clears throat> like God, you're streaming. I miss you. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I was been I've been sick, so I uh, haven't been streaming much, sadly. So there are some edits I do want to make to this. Um, there are some aspects I'm tempted to lift from this. For example, the back of the condor kind of rises upward here and goes out to the back and becomes taller, and I'm kind of tempted to do that here. That means we'll have two condors. Yeah. I wanted this to be a, a condor for when I start doing reach modding soon. But I also might as well, I was like, well, fuck it. I like Halo 3. I'll just do it in Halo 3. So, this kind of was born. And honestly, I'm happy with it so far. But there are still things I want to do to improve it. But honestly, it flies like a dream, and I love it. I agree with the double engines on the front wings. But let me see this. You could also make the whole Condor larger and shrink the cockpit so it lines up proportionally. I feel like it needs to be larger to justify the extra engines. That's a fair point, actually. That's a very fair point. <clears throat> let me see. Let me, let me read some of these suggestions, because honestly, y'all have some good ideas. <laughs> Landing here. If I yeah, I kind of like that idea. Like sh keep everything around the cockpit proportional, and then just like make everything else larger. That could be like that could be kind of cool. Hmm. Huh. Interesting idea there. Uh, let me see, though. Let me see. Uh, uh, Eric Raphael, thank you very much for that $2 super chat. I appreciate it. Take the paint scheme from the Halo Wars 2 Condor as well. Paint scheme. Paint scheme. Oh, you mean like the color? I suppose I could take the color from it. I don't know how bright I can make this. I think I'd have to increase the texture's brightness because it's just kind of dark right now. Look at that. Hybrid Halo 3, Halo Reach, Halo 4 thrusters. Amazing. What game are we playing at this point? I don't fucking know. <sighs> um, but Skaboodly Doodle as well. Thank you for that fiver. Three UNSC Condors. Seeing one is rare. Fighting three is a miracle. Oh, it's a shame to think we never got to see a Condor in action in Infinite. Even when we have a quote like that happening in the campaign. Ugh. Oh. Rejected, didn't we reach that last um, dono goal? Aren't we going to do the mod competition with green that you promised? Yes, actually, uh, that was a very fair point. 
honestly, I just wanted to start stream today because I missed the last two days because I got sick and I just wanted to do something. And since I was doing this in my free time, that's why I'm streaming this today. Um, but yes, I need to message Green about the modding competition. But this week, I will be playing Halo Wars 2 on stream as well because the two goals we had were one, play Halo Wars 2 on stream, and two, was to do the modding competition with Green, which is, I'm gonna, I don't think he's here right now. If he is, let me know. But I need to iron out the details of what we're gonna do because he wants to import Thanos into Halo 3, fucking Fortnite Thanos. Yo, let me play Halo Wars 2? Fuck it, let's do it. We'll do it, man. Well, let me turn on my AC real quick. Look at that, look at that condor. Look how thick that condor is, it's so thick. The Thanos J Fortnite, yeah, in the flesh. It is a beautiful thing to see this thing fly. You can definitely tell those wings are bigger. Yeah, I, I don't mind that. You can you can very clearly tell the wing engines got stretched. I didn't stretch them as much as the infinite wing engines are on the infinite condor, but you can still tell. Also, this is something. And that thing goes yeah it does this is a really subtle thing but i want to point it out because it's like this is a total fucking giga pelican weirdo moment but when i go forward the back thrusters angle upwards which ends up making it angle straight and that's something that halo literally has not done since halo one and two and i fucking love that about pelicans i think it's a really cool little animation and i was i've been depressed since they removed it uh, when like Halo 3 and onwards it's sad I will always add that back Giga Pelican it is a Giga Pelican Ender Slayer thank you very much for that fiver much appreciated why didn't you tell me working on a house would be this physically painful? Sounds like you're doing it the right way, which is by yourself. Which is the right way unless you're like somehow giga rich and can just pay a bunch of people to do stuff for you. Alright, should we add landing gear? I feel like I should add landing gear to this thing. Because right now it just kind of... Kind of does that. It's a little depressing, to be honest. Wonder how it would look painted black? Well, we can find out. Because get this. It's got a fully editable color. I think we were what, like right here? I've already got it as a custom color. Check it out. But instead of it being this color, I could just make it all white, which then makes it gray. Look at that, gray condor. Crazy. Fully colorable. Thanks, Halo Reach Texturing. You're the best. Well, let's, let's bring it to half brightness. Boom, look how dark that thing is now. That's crazy. Stealth Condor. What the hell? Let's bring it to, let's bring it up really dark. Whoa, Oni Condor. You gotta be kidding me, that's wild. Damn, that's actually, it's kind of sexy though. What the fuck? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna fly this one. Purple condor? Oh my god, really? You want a purple condor? Let's let's get a purple condor. It's a really dark condor. <laughs> there we go. The pink condor. Wait, it needs more pink. 
Oh yeah, there we go. That's the condor I was after all along. It's beautiful. Anos condor. <laughs> Wait, let's get the proper Thanos condor. Thanos condor, Thanos condor, Thanos condor. Sir Armstrong, sorry, Sir Arma Strong. Thank you for that re-up, the three months of membership. Thank you very much. That's sexy, and I'm not talking about the condor. It's not a sexy face, sorry about that. You know what? The slightly darker gray version of this looked really good. I'm gonna be honest, I think it's my favorite color so far. I wish I had like two cameras to control this thing so I could easily see it from the ground. Let's see if I can do it like this. Coming around, coming around. Here it comes, still going. I feel like you can tell. You can tell that this is a condor from it. I don't think this is too far off. I think if you like saw this flying overhead, you'd be like, damn. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Abyss gifting that one membership. Thank you very much, dude. That's very kind of you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. What the fuck? S Glitchy gamer sniped that membership. Fucking sniped it. God damn. Let's see. From a distance. Okay. So. Yeah, the silhouette's different enough. I think that even with the more minimal changes I've made to it, the silhouette's different enough where people could notice. That I wouldn't really be mistaken too hard for a pelican. You'd see it and be like, oh. There you go. Hey, Eric Raphael, re-upping with the five months on the membership. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. <coughs> Wait, I get one of these for free? Awesome. Lichma. Lich this. My ideal Halo is going to be a blend of all these art styles. Halo Reach style Condor, Halo 4 Lich, fucking whatever this stupid Scarab is. All the things. Merged together. Now then, this thing needs some landing gear. Lich makes the Condor look tiny. I know! I will say my only slight complaint is that this Condor is slightly smaller than the Halo Wars 2 one. And they should theoretically be scaled correctly as well. And this is like, here let me, let me show it. So the, my, the, the Halo Reach Condor here is 100% bigger than a regular Pelican by a decent amount. So just by standard, oh wait, this is even like pushed forward a little bit. Move it back a touch so they're lined up. But anyway, the Halo Reach Condor here is like almost an engine's length longer than a base Pelican. On, and the Halo 3 Pelican is just slightly bigger anyway. But my goal was to try and make this as long as I could without making the textures too fucked up. Because I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm not going to texture a whole ass Condor today. That shit's going to take way too long. And there's way more talented people than me for that. Tragic Magic, thank you very much for that $10 tip. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. 
Nice work in progress, Condor. I think a team, uh, sorry, a big team battle match with Scarab versus Mammoth or Condor would be cool. I think that'd be sick as fuck, and I'm very tempted to try that in Halo Reach, and if it doesn't work in Reach, then Halo 4, because that would be cool. You had a problem with my stretch texture? Yeah, it, mine's not faring too, too well either. I tried to get away with it as best as I could by like being like as careful as I could be, so like I kept this part because it has a circle on it. I kept it very specifically, like not stretched. Whereas like right next to it, you can see these two things got stretched pretty badly. And like, I I don't know. I tried really hard. There's definitely. I mean, <laughs> we don't talk about that part right now. But anyway, you know, there's some some areas that definitely need some work. But overall, it's, it's looking pretty good. Yours, honestly, I, I haven't seen yours like up close, obviously, a bit, but it, it looks it looks like a nice. Skaboodly Doodle with the tenor. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely give it the rectangular thrusters that Halo 4 has. Would make them stand out from the Pelican and also shrink the engines vertically to make them flatter and less bulky. Oh, you're right, but the... Hmm. That would be like... So if I took the Halo 4 thrusters, like either these... Well, more realistically, probably the Halo 4 thrusters because they're literally these, but just like higher quality but anyway these on here with like these wings also on here would more or less turn this into the halo tv show condor but the thing is sorry my cat's screaming at me the thing about that is i'm a huge bungee simp and i really there's a part of me that does like the Halo Infinite Condor quite a bit. I d like, it looks weird, but it's like, you know, the Halo Infinite Condor is forbidden. You know, the, the, the Halo Infinite Condor, you can't just have, you can't just fly the Halo Infinite Condor. In fact, I'm gonna be real with you and just say there's a part of me that wants to just like remove all the cool aspects shrink these back engines here and just make like a one-to-one -one copy of the Halo uh, Infinite Condor using the Halo Reach Pelican as a base. It wouldn't look very good, but there's just like this, there's this calling deep within me that needs it. Why is the butt so stretched? I ask 343, I don't know. Somebody who designed the Infinite Condor was just like, let's just make it longer. And they were like, how do we do the whole complicated back part with the big engines? And they were like, get this, get this. Don't do anything, just m copy the big engine and paste it, but it'll be smaller on our Condor. That way it fits and we don't have to stretch anything. And they were just like, genius, genius. <sighs> anyway, I'm on a rant. Um, so Skaboodly Doodle, to answer to your suggestion, I don't know if I want to. It's, it's honestly tempting. There are three versions of the Condor I want to make. The Halo Infinite one, mine, aka the weird Reach hybrid one that I'm working on right now, uh, this one. And then I want to do like the Halo TV show one, which is basically what you're suggesting, which is like take the Halo 4 thrusters, put them on there, merge it with like some Halo Wars 2 parts and keep like the cockpit and, and like make the whole thing bigger. That would be cool. All of them would be cool, to be fair. I think what I'm gonna do for now is stick with this design, which is my weird hybrid reach style one, because I think it looks kind of sharp and sexy and it makes me, makes me feel something. <laughs> and, uh, and then I think after that, I would probably, if I was gonna do another version, I would probably try my hand out like this, which would just be like an alternate version. It would be so easy to make this too. It'd be a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. Cat, feline cat. Yeah, that, that is in fact my cat. I think for now I'm gonna stick with, with what I have though, where it's kind of as a mishmash between infinite reach and Halo Wars and it's it's kind of just this weird thing that's not canon to any one particular thing, but I think looks cool. And it's something I wanted to do for a long time. 
We must see the feline. I can show you her. She's become much better. She stayed <coughs> at my best friend's house while I was out in Europe. And she has like four other cats. So my super shy kitty had to come out of her shell. And here she is, my big fluffy shy kitty cat. You're so cute. And I love you. She's nursing on my bicep. It's extremely painful. Oh, you're so cute. I love you. How old is she? She is going on three years old. My, my kitten is sitting on the cat tower just staring at me with a jealous rage. Her name is Artemis, by the way, because she's a little huntress. Alrighty. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, so I do like this design right now, and I like it enough. Then I'm gonna put landing gear on it. I know. Crazy. Demon, thank you very much for the fiver. Appreciate it. Working on the condor instead of working with green to get ultimate forge ready. Yeah, I like to have fun. I wanna give this thing a little bit of landing gear. Then I think I'll try making my own little Spartan laser turret for it. If not, I'll just add that later. That I read supporter chat. Yeah, no, I know. So this is what this is. Listen, Demon, you don't want what Green wants. You think your interests have aligned. Green wants me to make reach mods. Green really make, wants me to make reach mods instead of Halo 3 because he knows Halo 3's engine is so limited. And I'm going to be honest, I kind of agree with him. I also want to make reach mods. And I think I'm going to uh, after this. Uh, after Ultimate Forge, I'm going to start doing a lot of reach mods. Um, I'll be going deep, deep into reach mods, but I cannot leave Ultimate Forge. If I go deep into reach mods, I'm not going to want to work on Halo 3 for a while, or at least not very, like, consistently. So, I'm going to finish Ultimate Forge, have a little bit of fun while I'm doing it, upload it to the Steam Workshop, right? And the problem is that what you want, Demon is that you want me to put out a good version of Ultimate Forge. Green don't give a fuck. Green just wants it out so that I quit Halo 3. <laughs> Your interests do not align as much as you think they do. I swear. Abyss, I want to switch to 4, but I like Reach more. I know. I, I That's how I feel. Honestly, if somebody could convince some of the MCC team to backport some of Halo 4's features into Reach for us modders to work with. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, the engines aren't that different, right? Like that. <laughs> right? The cat is calling. Yeah, she is. She is. Dude, they simplified the art style so much in Reach that I, I really like it. Like, look at the Halo 3 Pelican. They're just like, brow, 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 lines everywhere. Fucking busy. Fucking rah, shit's going on. And, uh, and then Halo Reach, they're just like gray metal. Three squares. One square. Whatever that's called. I forgot. How did I forget what that's called? It's greebled. Halo 3 is very greebled all over the place. Halo Reach, they're just like, uh, there's a couple big metal plates, and that's good enough. And I respect that. Sir, that's a rectangle. It's not. It's a. It's a fucking. I don't know what it's called. It starts with a D. I'm pretty sure. How do I? God. Anyway, <clears throat> did I see the reach AI stuff, dude? 
Yes, and I was so hoping that that works in a rhombus. No, it's not a rhombus. Trapezoid. It's a trapezoid. Thank you. It's not a. I did not start with a D. I was wrong. It's a trapezoid. Only James got it right. All of the rest of you are stupid and dumb and stupid. Good try. I mean, I'm included in there, but we don't talk about it. Anyway, yes. I so. All right. So let me explain to you guys watching right now. Abyss is talking about uh, this thing. That, as far as I know, it was discovered by a guy named Matthew, who, back before there were even mod tools, had come up with a really amazing... I shouldn't say, like, amazing, but it was really clever. There was this very, very clever script that was super fucking useful. It wasn't. Okay, it wasn't figured out by Matthew. Okay. Well, there was a script that Matthew made, anyway, that's, that's key to it, so I'll explain it. It was Ryan striking. Okay, okay. So, striking figured out if you've ever played a mod in the past I'm sure there are some of you in chat who have where you download like old extinction that I made or any other mod you had to also download a DLL file to replace if you wanted to spawn AI in forge mode and that was because for whatever reason there was like a thing in Halo where if you wanted to spawn a proper AI in multiplayer in forge through the normal method, you had to have that DLL edit or else nothing would appear. And it was even worse than that, actually. It was worse than that because only the host could have it. If the host had that DLL in their game, the, the modded file, and then you played, the AI would spawn normally. If you had it and the host had it, you would see the AI spawn, and then in your game, you would see a dummy AI spawn and it would be glitched. Basically, it was a clusterfuck, it was messy, and it barely worked, but if you had the exact setup right, you could play with forgeable AI spawn points, either in Forge or in custom games on your Forged maps. Which, in theory, is really cool. But it was kind of annoying to set all that up, and it was super weird. So I saw this method, and I, I'm not like an authority on it or anything, I just read the, the post on the Halo Mods Discord. Oh, you put them in your mod a bit? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to put it in like all of my mods now because I love everybody loves AI. I love AI. Every, everybody loves playing with AI. It's so fun. So long story short, apparently this guy named Striking came up with this really clever way of spawning AI that no longer relies on the old shitty method. And it, the way that it was explained to me, because I haven't tested it myself yet, I, I still I need to go out and, and try it. And I want to try it in Halo Three as well because it'd be really cool if it worked in Halo Three. But yeah, basically. Uh, Instead of spawning it, the way that you would do it before is you would do it through an effect, which is like an explosion happens, right? An explosion happens. You could have it, right? You shoot a warthog, the warthog plays an explosion, and like a piece of the bumper will come flying off, right? The bumper spawned off of the explosion effect. It actually, the explosion created the bumper object. And what you would do is instead of creating like a bumper object or something, you would spawn an AI character. But that would only work if you had that edit because those things are only supposed to spawn in campaign through scripts and stuff. But you could theoretically spawn it through an effect like an explosion of some kind if you had that uh, the edit because you can spawn objects through effects. However, the problem arose, which was that you know, it was annoying. It was finicky. Nobody wanted to install it. And now that we have Steam Workshop, you can't just install that file uh, through Steam Workshop. You can only get maps. So this method instead is you spawn a biped. If anyone, if you know I'm getting this wrong, let me know. But you spawn a biped. Like the company, like Green's Locust or my Big Mega Mantis, these are bipeds, right? It's not an AI with like a brain. It's not going to shoot you. It's just the body of one, right? It's literally just a body. It's a biped, a bipedal object. You know, it's, it doesn't have a brain. I even put a seat on this one so I can drive it, right? So it's a biped. You kill a biped and there's a method where I believe it's tied to flood stuff where the like a dead biped, imagine like a dead marine in Halo 3 gets like infected by the flood. 
I can show you later if you want. It syncs perfectly. I love it. Oh, I, yeah, please. But basically, it, it, the way I understand it is like instead of doing the weird spawning through effects stuff, it's like uh, the it's basically like the the system that it uses for when a dead biped is on the floor, a little flood poppy goes into the that biped, and then it plays the animation of it of like a character spawn. It, it spawns a character through that, and then it you know flood pops up. So long story short. Now, instead of doing it through the weird effect way, you put like a, a spawn point down and it does like a biped instead, but the biped instantly spawns a character instead, a de or a death character. I don't know, I might be wrong about the flood thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was my understanding of it. It was tied to that system. Or maybe it was, there's a death character system and the floods just used it for that, but... Anyway, you can make it so when a biped dies, it spawns a character. And uh, striking found out how to actually make that system work because I've never heard of anybody using that system for this thing ever and he actually figured out how to make it work and I remember just like reading through <coughs> all the excuse me all the threads on the Halo Mods server and then it was just like oh yeah by the way uh you can you can spawn AI perfectly syncing in multiplayer now without anything and I was just like what that, that fucking shook me because that's huge. That's really fucking huge. That's a big fucking deal. Claiming that AI art is yours is technically a form of plagiarism. I actually have the opposite take of that. Project to give it double nose chin guns? Double nose? Like two chin guns? So are collages by that logic? Well, no, I mean, if you understand how AI generated artwork works on a technical level, like what's actually having, happening, it, it's, it's not like, there's a lot of misinformation about that, which is kind of frustrating. I, I have, I use AI in my workflow a lot. So I, I have a reasonably good understanding of how all that stuff works, and goddamn, is it really frustrating to see how many people do not understand AI art and how any of that shit works on a technical level? The people who are like, ah, oh, this is plagiarism. I'm like, you, it's really not, but sure. If that's, if that, if that helps you feel a certain way, like, I don't know. AI, AI stuff has been extremely useful in my workflow. I get so frustrated when I see people arguing about it, saying that it's like plagiarism and stuff. I'm just like, dude, that is so far from the truth. I mean, AI don't even, they don't just like, this is what's really interesting. AI, when you do like generate an AI image with like uh, Dolly 2 or Stable Diffusion, it the AI is not just like, ah, let me copy a part from this picture. Like let's say you want to copy somebody's art style, right? You want to mimic their art style. You feed like the AI, like a really smart AI that's good at art generation already, a bunch of their pictures, and you make a specialized version of it. And now... You can generate that style, but the thing is, the the AI isn't just like grabbing pieces of that art, right? It's not just grabbing little sections of the art. The AI learns what the lines are, the shapes, the patterns, how they interact, the colors, the contrast. The AI learns literally how the fuck that art style works. It's not just copying little bits and pieces. The AI knows what makes that art style the art style? It literally knows how to be that artist now from a basic core level. It is not just copying and pasting that artist's work. The AI has learned how to be that artist, more or less. They'll never be as good as the actual artist, but the AI learned what the style is, how it all works, the line work, the, the common brush strokes, the, the contrast, the color, everything about it. It's crazy. It's really cool. And the coolest part about AI stuff that do this kind of thing is really, we don't know. You can't like open up the AI, right? And like look inside and be like, this is the part here that's good at drawing like a face line. You just feed it shit and it creates this big messy amalgamation that you can't really understand 
or do a lot with in a technical sense. You can't open it up really and tinker with it very much. It's kind of like a brain. It's really complicated. And it, you just kind of, it spits out stuff and you're like, I guess I made a good AI. <laughs> They're fucking crazy. They're so cool. But did the artist give consent to have their work through the process to be automatically replicated? See that now that's a good question. That's like the actual real question here. Because to say like ah AI artist plagiarism or something is like that's dumb. No, the AI learned what a certain style that some artist uses is. Does the artist consent to having their stuff utilized? Probably not. And I think that's actually a fair point. Honestly, in this day and age on the internet, like I feel like it's a bit maybe this is like a nihilistic take on it, but Realistically, I think if you're an artist on the internet and uh, you don't expect your stuff to be like re-uploaded or used in ways that is against your copyright, like I hate to break it to you, but the internet is really big and that you cannot govern that stuff. I, I have a lot of artist friends and I support, right? I want to support them, but like, come on, it's 2023. We, we figured it out by now. Like you, you just, you lose control once you post an image on the internet. You post it on the internet, you can try. Maybe you have a Patreon where you like do a thing or something. That's like the best you can hope for. This is the internet. It's the wild west a lot of the time. And especially with artists, like you can't just lock down an image. It's going to get used and stuff. There's nothing you can do about that. There's literally nothing you can do about that. And it sucks. But that's, that's just the state of, the, of affairs. You just can't stop people. It's too easy. Copy and paste. That's why NFTs are a joke. You just copy and paste it. Like, yeah, I get it. Blockchain and hashes and stuff, but it, it is what it is, man. It literally is what it is. Anyway, yeah, uh, now, now I'm selling an NFT of this uh, Halo Reach Condor uh, starting at two Bitcoin, please. Screenshotting it now. I'll put this up on uh, whatever the fuck that big website is. Screenshot starting at two Bitcoin, please and thank you. So how is this how we make real life waifu Cortana? How many in the collection? It's just this one, very exclusive. Very, very exclusive. Face cam watermark, yeah, exactly. We'll give you some pocket lint. That's about the same value, right? <laughs> it's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. This is my very valuable NFT I'm making here. Base take, condors are ugly. Condors are thick. Oh, right. I want to do, um, I want to do the landing gear on this really quickly. Let me, let me do that. Um, I need to recreate the landing gear animation because this is a totally new rig. So I'll just have to do this by hand really quickly. Um, let me make this like a 30, make like a 20 frame animation really quickly. Where is it? Uh, 19. Okay, so landing gear animations. This is what you're here for. I know you're here for this. This is what you're here for. We're doing the landing gear. I honestly, this is going to suck because it's, it's more complicated than like I, I'm going to assume I think it is. Uh, where is it? Engine main, landing arm, R. Boom, boom. Gear front, gear front tire. Left gear hatch. Okay, I think that's all of the landing gear right there. Pretty sure. I'm actually here for an auto gas can and an extra set of engines on the front wings. An extra set of engines on the front wings? Like, uh, you mean like this? This kind of engine? I don't really know if that's too doable, to be honest with you. Maybe. Eh, that's doable. That's doable. Be a bit weird looking, though. <clears throat> Real talk, classic style vulture when? The vulture kind of has a classic style, doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't actually know. Okay, so location and rotation for all of the... Uh, landing gear is here. 
Let me do the back landing gear first. I feel like that should be pretty easy. So at the last frame, I'll have both of these landing gear bits. They will be all the way down. Why are they? <laughs> oh, right, because they're kind of, okay. I'll bring them all the way down to their full extension, which is like around here, I think. And then I'll bend it out on the Z axis, what, like 25 degrees? Is that good? I think it goes out further than that. 10 more degrees, I could. Is the Condor from Infinite similar to this? It is similar. Um, I took some inspiration from the Halo Wars 2 Condor and the Infinite Condor for this because I'll be real with you, the Infinite Condor design is lacking. It has good design ideas, or at least, sorry, it has ideas that I'm a fan of. Sick again? Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, the, uh, the Infinite Condor has ideas that I am a fan of, but I don't like all the, uh, like, design ideas that it has. There are some that I'm just like, mm, I don't know about that one. Skaboodly doodle with another 10. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I think AI art can be useful, can be incredibly useful and a valid tool in the toolkit. Agreed. 100% agreed. It is a very valuable and useful tool. Saves a lot of time. Like if AI generators simply credited the sources they drew from, I think a lot of the controversy would be null. I agree, but when it comes to AI generation, it is really fucking hard. It, or I think knowing how it works, it would be really fucking hard to do that. The only reason I say that is because the AI would have to credit like, like, probably a thousand plus images per thing because an AI generator is like it's not utilizing every image every time like every, it, the AI is not using an image when it generates an image the AI has like a literal tiny brain that only knows how to make images when an AI is fed a shit ton of images, it's, I mean, you, I don't, you probably know this, Kabuli, because you're an artist, but the AI, an image generating AI does not have in its brain, like a series of images that where it goes, ooh, let me pick and choose bits and pieces. You feed the AI images, they're gone, shredded, gone into the wind. The AI is now, it has an understanding. You feed it images, the images are gone, now the AI just knows things. It knows about line work and contrast and concepts. It, it's a brain. It's not a collection of images. It's not a computer program like a classic one would be. That's why when people are like, why there's controversy over it, I like shake my head. I'm like, this thing is a brain, you guys. You, there's no more copyright. You fed it images. There are no more images in the AI anymore. That's why it's so impossible, in my opinion, like impossible to to try and like do copyright stuff with it. It's just like, I hate to break it to people, but like the images are no longer in there. Somebody made a little mini brain out of your art. And it's like, I don't, I don't know how the fuck to explain that to people when they're like very angry about the AI art controversies. I'm just like, dude, the, your art's gone. It's a brain now. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> Oops. Okay, I think that's about right. Oh shit, whoops. I need to do that over here.
Okay, there we go. So that's more or less the... Oh, whoops. More or less the Halo Reach opening animation for... Did I not do it for this one? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Yeah, there we go. So there we go. It's the, the landing gear animation, the classic. Probably not exactly how it is, but that's my landing gear animation. Cool. I like it. Landing gear. Ugh. We'll have this in game in no time at all. And I can reuse all of this for Halo Reach, which is pretty sick. Alrighty, let's see. I don't actually know how the uh, front opening animation works in Halo Reach, so I'm going to have to wing it a little bit here. So we've got... Okay, so we got the wheel that obviously rolls outward like this to a 90 degree point and then we have the door all oh, the doors are fucked up that's not good girl girl look at me, look at me. I, love you. I love you i love you i love you you're really loud you meow all day long no matter how many cuddles and how much love i give you okay Uh, okay, so in order to fix this, I should have a pretty uh, easy go of it, which is to grab the uh, hatch, not hatch, lower. I guess I should probably do that one as well. Hatch, lower, separate by selection. Damn, that's an easy solution. I should have done that a long time ago. Or not. Okay, I'll I'll deal with that one later because that's that's an issue with uh, texture stretching and stuff that I don't have to worry about till I do the interior, which is a future me problem. Automation is a problem in every industry, and people are going to be affected. So there's a a good there's a lot of people who would argue this point when it comes to like AI art because we're kind of just being on the topic of that. Might as well might as well talk about it a little. A lot of people would argue that this isn't uh, how, what the real problem is, because a lot of people are arguing over the, um, the copyright uh, side of things, but basically, there's a very similar thing happening where people who did realistic paintings, right, portraits. People would paint realistic portraits of people. It was like a, you know, it was a big, important job a long time ago, back when before uh, photography existed in like the 1700s and uh, probably with the, what, the first half of the, eight, uh, of the 19th century, right? People were, people would paint portraits. That was a big deal, painting realistically. And then photographs were invented and those people were pissed. They were like, God damn it. How dare you? Came for Halo Mod, stayed for art class. <laughs> Listen, AI art is a huge, it has a huge crossover with technical work and stuff like this. Where I'm not a great artist by any means. I get fundamentals of art and stuff, sure, but I, I can't paint you a pretty picture or, or really make textures without the assistance of a program like Substance Painter, which takes away a lot of the difficulty. And AI art's another step where people like me, where I'm not really that great at art. I get it. I can do it. But it's just a, it's another hurdle out of the way. I don't have to... A lot of the training that human beings have to go through to become really talented artists, I can offload years, months and years of training onto the AI by taking existing art and just letting the AI work with it. Artists are pissed about that. You don't sound well. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm sick. It's really shitty. I'm stuffy. Um, and then I literally didn't stream yesterday because I was so sick, but I said, fuck it. This is my job. I'm streaming. I'm happy to be streaming because I, I love doing this. Okay, hold on. Gear front. Gear front is fine, right? Yeah, that's that. 
Where is it? It's, uh, well, you know, I've been sitting looking at this for way too long. What is the name of this thing? I'm losing my fucking mind. Okay, B gear L hatch. Okay, that is what I wanted. Is that right? Huh? That is so not right. This thing did not get extracted correctly at all. What? <laughs> oh, it's cursed. Okay. These really merged. Oh, that's so frustrating. Whatever. I'll leave it like that for now and I'll, I'll deal with it later. Okay. This object gets all attached to left gear hatch. This object gets all attached to right gear hatch. Sorry, this all happened because of a, a mistake I made early on. This is a really easy mistake to make uh, regarding like uh, merging objects together and stuff. Okay, let me make sure. So, left gear hatch. No. Oh. Remove. Okay. And then right gear hatch is all of that. Perfect. Left gear hatch is all of that. Perfect. Uh, right gear hatch. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you there? Uh, no. Remove. None of that. Okay, perfect. Now I can re-merge these all together. And that should be better. Now, when I use these bones, when I'm animating, they shouldn't stretch weirdly. They should be all separated out. Yep. Okay, yeah, so I can see how this works now. So to about right there, I would say, is the extent 60 degrees on the x-axis, so rotates on the x-axis negative 60 degrees and we'll get that in there rotate on the x-axis negative oh uh, 60 degrees positive 60 degrees that is lock that in there and then maybe we can get this tire rotated down like uh 90 degrees you love to see it I'll probably make that take a little longer, though. Uh, let me put that all the way at the end there. Let's see, is there any clipping at this speed? Does it clip in at all? No, it's actually really smooth. Check it out. Gear opens. Tire comes out. Comes out at the same speed as... Uh, is that landing gear there? And boom! Easy, baby. Easy. Great. I hate to say this, but the wheel is off center, I think. Actually, the wheel is on center. It's the encasing around the wheel that is uh, asymmetrical, which is, I think, a common thing in like military stuff. I don't know. I'd ask the bungee peeps. Anyway, that's. I had to recreate this from scratch, but like, let's be real, this animation already exists in like Halo Reach and stuff, but now I have it on my Condor. Also, I should probably have landing gear on the back here because this is now thick as fuck. Look at that juicy, juicy condor booty. Five more degrees on the front hatches. I think they'd clip if I did that though, would they? Oh, maybe you're right actually, hold on. I think you are right. Yeah, that works, I can do that. Open some of them up a little more. If it works, it works. 
See, this is why I like talking to you guys here and like having you in chat doing stuff because as much as I like doing stuff, I don't always have perfect ideas and I can get suggestions and great ideas from y'all and it's really nice. It makes this a lot more collaborative. A lot of the stuff that happens in my mods, a lot of cool features and stuff, are ideas sparked uh, by chat. So like you guys, basically, <laughs> you know who you are. Hmm. I hope I'm not behind on any super chats or anything. Let me see. God damn it. Lig, <laughs> I don't have to read this. Ligma these nuts has tipped $5 into the tip chart. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Got him. Listen, man, that's fucked up, first of all. Second of all, fuck you. Third of all, what the fuck? <laughs> all right, anyway. <laughs> let us uh, let me export this out as an animation. So this will be Halo 3, overlay. Is it an overlay? No, this is not an overlay. This is a base animation. And this will be combats. Closing. Haha, uh -huh, ligma. Look at my balls. Could the landing gear in the back just be extra long? I'm I'm not entirely sure I want to do the landing gear in the back. I, I might also be able to get away with just no landing gear in the back. If I take the whole bay section and move it back more, especially. <clears throat> I think that's not a bad idea. Kind of give it that weird Halo Infinite look where I just, the, the bay just, instead of cutting off here, just like goes back a while. Is it weird to anyone else, by the way, that like they didn't even try to continue the shape of the curve here? Like it's like the pelican goes up and then just goes like in a straight line and then continues back at the original angle. Like that looks so awkward. Why does it look like that? That did they do that on purpose? It looks like it's not supposed to be like that. Like I get it, right? Like you're not you don't actually see a completed condor in Halo Infinite. They're just crashed all over the all over the place. But like what the fuck? Is that lazy or what? I, I don't understand. That uh, is it on purpose? It doesn't look like it is. Drunk Frodo. Thank you very much for that fiber. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. For not to mention, I saw Mint Blitz show off your overpass map. Glad to see your stuff getting some attention. Yeah, it was so cool of him to do that, honestly. I was super psyched to see him do that. Um, Mint Blitz, he's such a nice dude. Appreciate the fuck out of him. Anon donated $1. Appreciate it. Uh, why don't I see it? Hold on. Oh, there. You can see uh, the AI is using existing images to make a set of parameters and then follow those parameters to make a new image, similar to writing down methods to create a painting, giving them to an experienced artist to make something new. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's literally like if you sat down and studied a an artist art style for like months on end, literally months on end, and you learned the way that their brush strokes work, the way that the lines work, their color, their contrast, like the the, the shading style they use, their their color, their, their common color palette, um, like all these things. You study those for months and years, and then finally you can mimic their style, right? That's what the AI does. It is. It doesn't. It's not sitting there and like looking and taking paces of a picture. It literally learns. It is a literal artificial, tiny, tiny, very tiny, specialized but artificial brain. And by the way, to get back to what you said, Drunk Frodo, yeah, Mint Blitz was super dope. I fucking love that guy. He uh, he did a video on the uh, Overpass map, which was super cool. Which, by the way, if you're not subscribed to Mint Blitz and you're subscribed to me, there is a problem. But yeah, Mint Blitz did this video, which was super cool. Uh, which, I'll let me link it as well. So if you guys just want to watch it on your own, you can. Hold on. But yeah, it's a it's a little trailer that Mint Blitz did uh, of Overpass, which was super dope of him to do. He had some really cool plays as well on this, which I I, I liked a lot. 
I'll compile this map if you want to play at some point. What is the map? I mean, I'm down to play. I just, I don't even know what it is yet besides the fact that it's got a condor on it. Anyway, if you want to watch the whole trailer and everything, go check it out on Mint Blitz's channel. Very fucking cool of him to do that. Very, very fucking cool. Appreciate that. All right, now, pardon me. Hmm? Oh no, that was just me spamming a link to the video. That was, that was actually me. All right, so negative one. I'm reversing this animation really quickly. This will be another animation. This one also JMA. This is combat opening. So this will be for when the landing gear goes the other way. What if the AI starts drawing AI and robots beating humanity? What then? Well, at that point, you question why your AI that that draws is like has gone from like a couple gigabytes in size to like 15 yottabytes in size because for an ai to start thinking on its own it's going to need some big hard drives some big drives listen i can spam in my own stream okay i'm the one i'm the only one who gets to spam in my stream and green if it's for a good reason can an AI predict my life? <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, gross. You know when when you're sick and you cough and it just like tastes like sickness? That is so gross. Ugh. I love the Halo Wars OST. Very fitting, considering uh, that I am doing a Condor mod today. see it. How much should I tip today? I'm trying to sign five trillion dollars. The entirety of multiple countries uh, GDP. Trust me. Trust me. It's a good idea. Don't ask anyone if it's a good idea. You just have to trust that I know it's a good idea. <clears throat> Alrighty, let me let me open up all my projects really quickly before I get too distracted. Blah blah blah. Data. Projects. Okay. So models. Condor reach. It's so mess in here. Um, where's my animations? I'm at opening and closing, so I go to my vehicles, Condor Reach, animations, put those in there. Oh, tool, fast, oh, animations, objects, vehicles, Condor Reach. Let's see, did it work automatically? I don't think it did. Let's find out. Oh, it did. It was just in reverse. Whoops. I always do that. Also, the animation might be a little bit fast. Time to uh, stretch it out a little. Now that I think about it, that is less than one second. What's? How long should this animation take? Like, what, like three seconds? So that's what, 90 frames? 
We'll do that. We'll, we'll do a 90 frame animation. Reverse of landing gear, takeoff gear. Yes, very useful as well. Trust me on that one. So zero to 89 frames. Wait, what is all this? What? Huh? What keyframe is here? I do not know. Truly, I do not know. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to animate all this over a span of three seconds instead of less than one. And that theoretically is going to look a lot better. Let's see. I don't think I can play this in real time, but let's see what it looks like. So the landing gear comes up very slowly. And then it comes in. Perfect. That'll do. And then let me see the Landing gear here on the front as well. It goes. Beautiful. I think three seconds is plenty of time for that animation to play out. Um, however, I got these in reverse, so I think closing is actually closing. How many mods have you done? It's become hard to count. Honestly, I don't know how you would quantify how many mods I've done because I, I just I mod a lot of stuff. I would consider my mods to just be a non-stop stream rather than like any individual count. As someone who doesn't know much, what was the Condor used for? Was it just a Pelican that can hold more passengers? So in Halo Wars 2, if I'm not mistaken, it was a gunship. Condor is essentially a heavier Pelican that holds more guns and can have slip space travel through short distances. Yeah, it's, it's a thick Pelican with more utility. Oh. Very thick, thick pelican. Yeah, it's a good animation. A little bit fast, though. <laughs> Cool. Maybe that a bunch of people made something for you on Minecraft. Can you please look at it? Yeah, I'll jump on the server to at the end of stream today. Absolutely. Then the condor, honestly, at least like in this shape and size I kind of like it more than the pelican is a silhouette it looks more like a cool sci-fi ship that I could see being like really powerful and fast is that weird it just makes more sense to me maybe that's I don't know that's kind of weird I always thought the vulture was so cool in Halo Wars it's really fucking cool you should see the vulture that um is it JS? JS is making a fucking insane vulture that's like perfectly matching Halo 3's art style. It is so fucking cool. I don't know if he's worked on it anytime recently. No, I have it actually. What am I saying? I can show you it. Let me stress a thousand times over, I did not make what you're about to see. All right? This is... I think this is it. Is it is, uh, this might be greens actually. Let me see. I don't know if this is Green's or, or JS's. 
Okay, yeah, this is JS's. This is JS's fucking crazy ass vulture. Un like fully from scratch modeled and textured. Actually insane. Like so talented to have made this. Mind blowing. Fully from the ground up. He gave it to me? Yeah, he, he literally like threw it my way uh, a couple months ago. I was like, hey, show it off on stream. It looks so sick. And not only is it like fucking amazingly modeled and textured in the style of Halo 3 based exactly off the textures and like all that shit. Not only is that, it's got a, an interior with a really good physics model. Tasteful reuse of Halo 3 assets. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Look at this shit. Can you believe it? It's fly, it's not like finished by any means, but you can technically fly it. It's even got some effects on it as well. It needs like a different camera track and a couple other things, but like, it's really nice. So fucking cool. I hope he finishes this one day because this is a really good vehicle. The flight physics on it are really great, though. I love that you can see the dust kicked up. JS did a fucking phenomenal job on this thing. I would love to see him finish it and just see this in like a massive battle. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway, yeah, absolutely phenomenal job. Crazy as fuck. Yeah, it's your vulture. Wait, you finished it? Really? No shot. No shot. Sarge Stacker, thank you very much for the fiver. Projected. Hey, any advice on a good way to project normals uh, to a high uh, project normals from a high poly model? I'm trying to 3D print game assets, and Houdini has failed me for the first time. So you're trying to do the reverse of like making a low poly model. To be honest with you, I don't know. It's not too often that I actually have to do anything like that. <clears throat> I I would just Google it. Get, just Googling the process would probably give you better results. Um, I would not be surprised if somebody has an exact reverse process. Subdivide times 10. Yeah, but projecting normals into geometry theoretically shouldn't be hard. As long as it's like a proper normal map. Even a bump map, you could probably get some geometry out of it. <sighs> oh, yeah. Listen to Skaboodle Doodle. Actual, really talented 3D artist. I actually know what they're talking about. Demo Gaming, thank you very much for the $2. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Frigate with interior to mount escape pods. When? Hmm. I do like that idea. There was... Actually, I think it was... I don't know if it was JS or Arthur. Or, sorry, Skaboodle. Skaboodle, were you the one doing the frigate? Oh, I just realized my thrust animations got yeeted. Give me my animations back. Give them back. Better. Speaking of which, I might as well rename that one animation that I just uh, put in there. I no longer use vehicle throttle, now it is object, or what is it, object? I don't know what the overlays are, anyway. Overlay, thrust.
My landing gear is out. Don't look. Don't look. <sighs> okay, my animation for... One of my animations finally exported. So, I just exported closing, now I do opening. To make sure this is in fact the opening animation. Good, good. Boom. <clears throat> Rejected, didn't you make a boat at one point? I've actually never made a boat, funnily enough. Um, I've considered it though, it'd be, it'd be really fun to make a boat. I would like to make one. It would actually... It would be easy to make a boat. It would be really easy to make a boat. My life pod is pretty much a boat. In fact... Let's take a look. Go back for the life pod real quick. Yeah, my life pod over here. Oh no, I deleted the life pod. Whoops. Hopefully, the life pod did not just explode when I did that. Let's see. It did not. We take that. Okay. Boom. I'm gonna try not to. Ooh. I don't think I launched myself far enough. Uh, take two. Take two. All right, here we go, here we go. Higher arc, higher arc, boom! Okay, I think we'll hit the water this time. I might actually have to air brake. I don't know if we hit our target. I don't even have this thing set as a super floater, but it's already floating. It's floating on the surface like a life pod, or like a boat. And using a trick to keep the physics always awake and active, I could have this thing just float constantly. Yeah, you, or well, I guess it hit the ground eventually, but yeah, this thing floats super easily. Making a boat should theoretically be very simple. Do you have the plow? I think into a crowd of grunts. True. I need to do a lot with this thing, to be honest. Boats shouldn't float upside down. Okay, true, true. The center of mass may not be ideal for a boat. I will not disagree with you on that point. Looks like I'm still exporting. Noted. Let me grab the other one. So the vehicle throttle should be overlay thrust. And then... So this is ready. Now I just need combat opening to finish exporting from Blender in the background. And then my landing gear animations will be good. And I do need to make an actually good physics model for this thing though. Kinda, kinda doesn't have one. In fact, this thing doesn't even have a proper collision model because I've been lazy. Might be fixed now though. Yeah, I can just go right through it right now. We don't talk about it. Yeah. Wait, what is this? We're adding two front wings to the back of the condor and getting rid of the tiny stationary wings. Um, 
You know, I did actually consider it. So these, these two right here, I was tempted to take like this part of the wing, like the, the part that's separate from the engine, and put that back here. But I don't know. It might look weird if there's just two sets of identical wings. It might look better having these like stationary fins. So a chunk of brain coming out of sneeze. God, I hope not. How many frames is your throttle slash thrust animation? Is it still four? Yeah, it is four. Though now that I'm using it as an overlay, I could make it a lot smoother. Because uh, before I was using it as a, a throttle, but using the thrust function as an overlay, I could make it uh, smoother and not like so rigid. Because it's four frames, it's a pretty rigid animation. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'll make some nice curvature to the animation uh, keyframes. Whenever Blender finishes exporting my one three second animation. Look at that landing gear. So right now, the animation is like harsh and rigid, but I'm thinking it'll like slowly lift and then kind of where it'll, it'll, it'll have a, why am I blanking on such a basic term? It'll lerp. It'll lerp. I like, uh, is it still like base forward, base reverse? Um... Yeah, but what I learned is most of the functions from like Halo 2, uh, Catherine, where you could use like throttle and stuff for uh, that don't work anymore. Like those functions in Halo 3 do not work for dropship vehicle types anymore. So if you're trying to make like a Halo 2 style of animation where it goes forward, the only success I've had is for going forward and using the thrust function, which is how I got this little animation to work, where the <laughs> engines lift up. Um, every other function seems deprecated. Halo 3 actually has the Halo 2 animations of the wings going forward. It's in the animation file, but instead of removing them, they made it so dropships just don't have that function anymore. It's weird. Modded Gamer, thank you very much for the $3. Appreciate that. Did somebody say landing gear? Maybe. Maybe. Bella, a tip ten dollars. God damn. Thank you very much for that. That's very generous. Appreciate it. I said I wasn't gonna donate again until you answer me, but I am anyway. Hi. Hello. I apologize. I'm quite sick at the moment. The stream must go on. It must. Oh, it's done. Ooh, it's done. I'm excited. Oh, and it's at a good speed, too. I'm happy with it. I just need a physics model to match. It still fucked up my overlay, though. God damn it. Okay. My custom landing gear animation works. I do need to make it so that these regions do not get shadow casts, though. Because that should not be pitch black. And I'm going to guess the inside of the landing gear, yeah, is also very dark. It should not be a thing. Oh, I also need to close that up. Yeah, those aren't supposed to look like that. There's a special thing I have to do to fix that, which I only really recently learned about. It was like this week, I finally found finally found uh, how the shadow casting stuff works. That's how the vanilla Halo 3 Pelicans are too. Yeah, so very bottom of the model tag of all places, there is shadow cast override and shadow receive overrides. So 
I get to go through all the regions on this thing. Such as, but not limited to. Actually, let me make sure I know the region names in the, in the render model. I don't know if it re removes the B underscore part. Regions. <clears throat> oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, I'll deal with that later. I have to like redo a, a large portion of the model. Oh, oh my heart. It's, I didn't have them set as regions. Oh, pain and suffering. No, you know what? I'm not gonna bitch out. I'm not gonna bitch out. I'm gonna do this right now. So that these don't have shadows. I need to make a region for this left landing gear, for the right landing gear, for the hidden away front landing gear. I need to do it now. Not be a lazy bum about it. All right. First things first, um, I gotta select them, so let's do that. Uh, right landing tire, left landing tire. Uh, I'll do them one at a time. First left tire. Um, left arm, is there anything that I miss if I select those? This little gear part, what is that? That's a... Uh, Left gear hatch? No, not left gear hatch. Landing alarm. Um, what is that connected to? to like, I honestly don't know what, what that is. What are you connected to? Genuinely, I have no idea what this little thing right here is, but it's connected to the wheel. I just, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it's used for. Chance Vaughn, thank you very much for that fiver. Appreciate it, appreciate you. Where'd you get the classic Condor model? I've been busy for a while, so I haven't been caught up. Or did you just make it yourself? Uh, classic Condor model was ripped courtesy of Green Knight out of Halo Wars 2. Straight out of Halo Wars 2. The only reason it looks kind of fancy is because I made the uh, the textures higher resolution using AI upscaling um, methods. And the model, I think, is exactly the same, but yeah, the textures are upscaled. I, I redid the, uh, the diffuse and specular textures and stuff so that it fit better in Halo 3 style. But um, yeah, it is straight out of Halo Wars 2. Look at this. She wants attention so bad. She's adorable. All right. Let me see. What? What? Left. It's not the gear hatch. Not landing L gear. It is landing L gear. What? Okay, gotcha. Noted. Landing L arm, landing L gear, and landing tire. Okay, so all of this. Got it. Is the new region. I want to eat cat. Please don't eat my cat. This will be default. Uh, landing L arm assign boom okay then this is 
a new region, default landing, R arm, assign. As far as these little hatches, these are probably fine if they're dark on the inside. I really don't care. What I do care about is the wheel, though, which is landing front, landing gear front. Yeah, this, the wheel on the inside. I want to make sure that this is good. So I'm going to give this its own separate region as well. Call it default landing uh, F, uh, front. Yeah, assign that. And now, oh, you want attention so bad, kitty cat. Oh, Jan Svon with another two. Thank you very much uh, for the two dollars. I meant the reach style one. Oh, this is just something I made myself uh, yesterday. Well, and today as well, actually. Uh, it just started out as a Halo Reach Pelican, and then I just morphed it around a bunch. Uh, edited like the engines and the, the shape, stretched it out, added, copied and pasted fins, edited engines, re-rigged it all up. Um, I'll release it as like a tag eventually if you want to play with it, but yeah, I just, I just made it myself. How old is the kitty? She is seven, eight months now. She's a total runt. When I left for Europe, I thought she was going to be a lot bigger because I'd been gone for a whole month, and she wasn't. She was the exact same size, so I'm pretty sure she's going to be a little tiny kitty forever. She is attached to me forever. I have known her since she was born. Love this kitty cat. It's purring so loud I can hear it. It's like a little motorbike. She looks like she loves pets. Oh, she does. She absolutely does. Ah, uh, look what she does. Watch this. I'm gonna take my hand away from her. Oh, she's not gonna do it now. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh. getting to get mad. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you're just upset. All right, I've got my region set up. Uh, time to do the collision model. If maybe on the slight chance that my regions are good again, it'll work. Probably not. Anyway, there's that. Um, what else? What else? Oh, right. I've got to redo my physics model. I guess... Do I have to... Yeah, i got to redo it. It would be too much effort to just do all the regions. I'll redo my physics model, but that's really easy to do on this thing. I can't hear cat purring. I would not be surprised. She's purring so much right now. Let me see if I can hear her. That's so cute. She's adorable. I'm very happy because she's not going to grow bigger, which means she always has those big, cute bug eyes for the rest of her life. She'll always be something I can pick up with a single hand. And that makes me happy. I'm a cat enjoyer now. Good, good. Oh my god, she's burning so much. Demanding attention. I want your PC. How much do you want for it? Um, well, considering it has my entire livelihood on it, a lot of money. Alright, basically what I have to do here to make a physics model is separate this into a bunch of pieces uh, reasonably well. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, any parts that are big and stick out, I've got to separate. Just so, for now, I, I can do better than this later on, but this is a quick and dirty method and it works good enough. Um, the wings here are going to look ugly. Try not to notice how badly the wing physics models are going to be, but, you know, we'll do better later.
Ah, man, I always do this. Um, okay, I think that's about it. I'll separate these little bits out. And then I'll split this thing down the middle like that. <laughs> the Count has donated, or sorry, has tipped $1. One dollar. Uh, uh, uh. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you for that one dollar. <laughs> Okay, so this will be good for uh, for the physics model. So let me rename some of these because I accidentally named them after a collision model. So find and replace, point zero. <laughs> Nothing, there we go, they look good. Duplicate. The count has tipped $2, $2. <laughs> Uh, 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 damn it, I named my condor Count. <laughs> Thank you for the $2, Count. Appreciate you. Oh, right, and before I forget, I gotta get the, 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 the landing gear. So I save this. The count has tipped three dollars. He said three dollars. Ah, ah, ah. Thank you very much, Count. Appreciate it. <laughs> Would be cool if you tried remaking the TV show, Gondor. I actually considered that. The count has tipped. Four dollars. Four dollars. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to lose my voice even more reading these out. God damn it. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Hello. Hello. She requires attention. She's hooked up onto my chest at all times. I say that like I don't absolutely love it. All right. Uh, before I get too distracted, before I get too distracted, the count has tipped six dollars. Wait, wait, we skipped five. We skipped five. Count tipped six dollars. Said six dollars. Uh, 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 and then out of nowhere, seven dollars. <laughs> I can't do this. My voice is so shot. Hold on. Thank you for the seven dollars. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. ah. What happened to five? The count can the count count? <laughs> <laughs> the count has tipped eight dollars. Ah, ah, ah. This is such a stupid bit. <laughs> Fuck, my voice is so messed up. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god, excuse me. <laughs> the count has tipped nine dollars. Ah, ah, ah. Wait, this is adding up quickly. What the fuck? We're already at seven. We're already three fourths of the way done with the daily tip goal. The count just got us like fucking 40% of the way there. If you lose your voice, just blame Green Green. It's like, I ain't even here and I see blame Green comments. Damn, that's rough, man. 
Ah, that sounds rough, dude. Anyway, cool condor, right? <laughs> Modded at Gamer. Tipped one dollar. Thank you. Looks like you need text-to-speech, Kappa. True. I actually could use text-to-speech for this. Like for this one, the count has tipped ten dollars. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, my voice sounds so fucking awful. Oh, this is so bad. It's so, so bad. All right, last part here, last part here. Uh, 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 my brain is so slow today, it's really bad. Um... Can I just like do this? This will be so much faster. Oh, much better. Okay, this should be better now. Where did the cats thing come from? Do you mean, oh, this, uh, this is, I don't know what the acronym is for, but this was originally for VR chat, actually. It's, it's got a bunch of useful like functions that I've grown accustomed to over the years of making VR chat content. So I, I still have it installed at any given time. Just have some basic shortcuts and stuff. It's useful. I like it. It's not for everybody, though. I'm just used to it. Cypher with $10 on that super chat. Two fivers. What, what, what? I'm sorry. That's the best I could do. I, I'm sick and I lost my voice. But thank you very much for that, Tanner Cypher. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Uh, uh. God, my voice is so gone. 12, 13, 14, and let's see, 15. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah, uh, yes, heartwarming words from Green Knight as he smashes his keyboard to pieces. Classic Green Knight, classic. Oh, the cat has begun meowing. She will not stop until I go, ah! And she goes, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have meowed so much. Oh shit, I selected the wrong one again! Ian Paler, thank you very much. For the fiver, I appreciate you. For the Benadryl fund, yeah, much appreciated. I need to go shopping right after this and go get myself some stuff so I'm all taken care of. It's rough out here. I live all on my own. Ain't got no, nobody to take care of me. I got two cats, I gotta take care of them and myself. I got my family. It is, it is how it is, you know? It just is how it do be. It do be like that sometimes. It do be. Do be do. Oh, this is the best fucking ODST song. Just hopped in. The Condor is sick. That thing looked tail heavy? We'll find out once the new physics model's in, because it will lean back if it's tail heavy. It will be rough. Okay, so I only want physics models actually exported from this scene. <laughs> so I'll export that. This will be a Condor physics model landing gear. Look how long that file name is. Whoa! Xerxes has tipped $13.99! We're almost there, they say. Thank you very, <clears throat> very sorry much for the daily tip goal. Pretty much reaching, we're, <laughs> we're one cent away. I'll be real, I'll just, I'll count that as it being it. We made it, all right? Nobody can convince me otherwise. We've made it, even at one cent away. Xerxes, thank you so much. Damn. You know what, no, we, we're not there. We need one more cent, what the fuck? That is not it. Uh, what the fuck? Hello? Uh, hello?
Wait, when did I export this? 11, 40, 12, 20. What the fuck is this? Hold on. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, go bank? Hello? I need to export. Hold on. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's because it's in pose mode. Weird. Animal Jihad, thank you very much for the $2. Much appreciated. Howdy, have you gotten this condor in-game yet? I have, with effects and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm about to put the final touches on the landing gear physics model because I just did the animations. So if you wait just about two minutes more, I will go back in-game and show it with all the proper physics model and everything. But first, I'll give you a sneak peek. And I have to pee so bad, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> the count has tipped five dollars that's a fiver from the count thank you the count for god town to count uh 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 Silly count. I knew better than you. It's your whole job. And I knew better. That's ridiculous. Me no hear you. Good try. Good try. It was a solid try. You guys keep trying. Okay? It's only worked like halfway one time. You can't, every time I come back, you can't just say muted. Like I don't have a fucking audio bar on my second monitor. Okay? What the fuck? Modded gamer. Tipping a dollar into the tip jar. Thank you very much. Cheer. Also, it won't let me do one cent, Sag. It's okay. Daily tip goal has gone overboard. We are over the daily tip. Guys, shut up. You cannot get me with the fucking audio thing. I <laughs> Shut up. God, I hate this bit so much. You cannot get me on this shit, okay? You cannot get me. <laughs> <sighs> green knight has tipped one dollar it is the real green knight this time and to prove it i sent you a baguette and discord dms the halo wars 2 condor is better than halo 2 wars what not true there's no i'm checking my d i do have a dm from green knight he sent me a baguette in discord what the fuck that's not true, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. That is, that is, that is not very based. That is not very based, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. Fuck, I just opened Photoshop. I didn't mean to do that. All right, what's going on here? What's going on here? Ray, tipping at $1 in one cent. Bring us to 108. Thank you, thank you. Uh, consumable Dorito corn chip mod. Why not? Why? You know what? Let's get Ultimate Forge touched up, and then I'll make eatable, edible Doritos. That'll be the, the new weapon I add to the game. 
crunching sounds and all your Spartan just like, you know, you know, have you ever seen those videos where it's like the guy, he's really popular now, he like reloads random stuff. He's like all animated about how he moves. I'm gonna do that. Like chip bag comes up, you rip your hand into it, fucking shove that shit in your mouth, crunch, crunch, fucking whoosh, grab another chip ready to go. Doritos health pack and throwing them. Oh, that's a good idea. Alt fire. Fucking throws Doritos like throwing stars. Just whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> That's so stupid, but I love it. DJC animations. Thank you very much for the two. Much appreciated. I don't remember what I was last doing, to be honest with you. Oh, no, I do now. I do. Sure, we'll save that. Um, I need to export this out. Halo 3 with render. Blah, blah, blah. We're loading, we're loading, we're loading. Okay. So I gotta redo all these now. So first. The animations are still good. I don't have to do that. I'll do the render model with the new stuff I just added to it. Okay, we'll get that. Oh, wait, shit. Um, that is my bad. I need to redo that. Yeah, no wonder it crashed. Let's try that again. Uh, did my tool crash? I'm I'm confused. I think my whole tool crashed. What the fuck? Accepted sniper rifle. Has tipped two dollars. How's my evil twin feeling tonight? Okay. That you're clearly my evil twin. This is not up for debate. Okay. I mean, theoretically, rejected does sound objectively slightly more evil than accepted. You are the evil twin and not me. All right. Yeah. I don't think anyone's going to take your side on that, first of all. So, you know, I don't think it's really up for debate. You're the evil twin. I'm the base guy. Even if I do sound more evil, just based off of how it is. Animal Jihad. Thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Long Pelican needs a custom long cat. Alt ski. What? Hold on, wait, no, I, I can decode this. I'm trying to understand. Maybe I'm just dumb here. Maybe I'm stupid and don't understand. Oh, long cat. Oh, I love alt long cat. Absolutely one of my favorite things ever. Good idea. Good idea. Accepted sniper rifle has tipped another $1. Sounds like something someone evil would say. Okay, that's pff, it's just not true, first of all. Ah! What the fuck just happened? What? Huh? What? I... Why do... What? Okay, we're entering debug mode. The landing gear pointing all the way down? Huh? That is not right. And why is the front floating? That doesn't even make sense. You know what? You know what? I don't like that. And so, 
I'm gonna fix that. Nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, oh, so that's what's happening here. Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, you stay like this. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. I have to go back into my old... My old Pelican, right? I have to delete the physics model from here. Because I don't need that one. And I have to drag it from the other one and then attach it through to the... To, ah, you see, I see, I get it now. I get it now. I... What? Oh, oh yeah, here. I'm getting it. I'm figuring it out. Taco Bot has tipped three dollars. We'll talk about two, to be fair, the sequel. He's tipped three dollars, thank you very much. Free tacos here. I don't know, that sounds kind of sus. There might not be any free tacos there. I don't know if that's worth trusting. Pretty sus, if you ask me. Except the sniper was a tipped a dollar. Your evil pa plans have been thwarted until we meet again. Whatever you say, except the sniper rifle. Fraud. And DJC Animations, thank you very much for your two. Appreciate it. Working uh, on Halo Ship Battle Animation in Blender right now. Well, I hope it goes well. That sounds cool. I love Halo Ship Battles. That's all I ever want to do. If I could just get paid to make Halo Ship Battles all day, I would. Wait, that's kind of what I do, actually, now that I think about it. Ah. Let's see, let's see, let's, 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 let's see. Uh, it's exporting. Oh, uh, maybe it'll actually work this time. Oh, maybe. The taco revolution has begun. Oh my god, Taco Bot's taking over shit again, dude. What the fuck? Dude's just never satisfied. Yeah. Why is there multiple things in here? Maybe that's why it was bugged. <laughs> ah! Hey, what the fuck? What? What the fuck? That's so much money! Idiotism has tipped 69.69! Nice. Nice. Thank you very much. That is really fucking unexpected and extremely generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bro, there is no audio. Where is the audio? I can hear the squeaks in your chair, but not you, man. Fix stream, please. A sad face on him. <laughs> this fucking bit. I swear to God. <laughs> on a more serious note, have you ever thought about taking a spin and making your own style cursed Halo mod? Yes. Yes, I have. I think it would be a shit ton of fun to do, too. I would, I would honestly love to do that a lot. Um... In fact, my very first mod that I ever made for, um, for, uh, for Halo 3, back when it was pre-release on Steam, was literally 
a cursed mod. It was a lot of fun to do. I did it with green as well. Very good time. Did my animations break? I swear. Um, but yeah, I've thought about it. It's something I might do in the future. I'm not entirely sure, though. Wait, what? Why are they inverted now? No. Oh, it's because of you, isn't it? Oh, that makes so much sense. I think. Maybe. Not right. I really don't know anymore. Everything hurts. Alright, let's try this again. Again, again, again. We're gonna try this again. Again, we're trying. We're trying it again. Again, here we go. Again. Uh, let me get back to you on the cursed halo thing because that is something I do want to talk about. Because um, I, I, I would love to do it at some point. Ah, better. Landing gear, yes. It's beautiful. Could use a little bit of work though, which is what I'm going to fix right now. So I will. Gucci pasta. Thank you very much for the two dollars. I appreciate that very much. Hope you feel better soon, bro. Super Mantis update. Uh, I can give you an update in just one second. Let me read literally Carolina, who also super chatted. Uh, seven Canadian dollars. Much appreciated. It's me, Carolina. I'm back, and I'm still inside your walls. A threat. Also, it's been a while. Are there big booty reach Spartans in Halo 3 yet? Not yet. Not yet. But... There will be. Okay, I can't promise you that in all actuality. But there could be. There's Big Booty Cortana, courtesy of Totally Not Me. Don't tell 343, please. I promise it will never leave my hard drive. I don't want to be banned. This is literally all I do. <clears throat> anyway. Um, Super Mantis. Oh, yeah, I have it spawned in right here, actually. I haven't, uh, to be honest with you, Gucci, I haven't changed anything about it yet. Uh, I haven't worked on it in quite a while. Honestly, I might do it in Reach. I don't know if... I think Reach biped driving scuffed, actually. Never mind. Maybe I won't do it in Reach. Uh, maybe in Halo 4. Or 3. I'd like to do something with it soon, though. Um, it's been sitting for a while, and it's a really, really fucking cool thing. It looks fire. I know. It's so sick. Like, it, it, this was just sitting on a Halo 4 map for so long. It needs some fixes and adjustments, I'll be honest. It's not perfect yet, but hey, if I do some actual work on it and make it functional, it could be really good. Imagine driving Mega Mantis around Lone Wolf. I know. It would be good in Reach campaign, but that's about it. Okay, so here's the deal. This is what I'm about to fix. This is something that has bothered me for so long, and I can actually finally fix. So, by default... Let me show you. Well... Well, by default, these landing gear pieces, these landing legs, are tucked inside here. So what happens is, when I import this model, and Halo tries to calculate where shadows should go, it thinks that the inside of the landing gear should be pitch black. It also thinks that because the front wheel is hidden away, tucked in here in darkness, that it should also be pitch black. So when I come into game, after importing it, it's pitch black because it thinks that it's supposed to be pitch black in there. However, it is not supposed to be pitch black in there, okay? And it's not supposed to be pitch black on the inside of these things. So I, finally, my dumbass, after so long, figured out there's a little thing for it in the model tag. I don't know why it took me so long. I don't want to talk about it. But it, it, it took me a while. So I made a specific regions for these landing pieces so that I can give them shadows. And I'm going to do that now. So these sections, landing left arm, will only shadow itself. And landing right arm will only shadow itself. It will not get shadowed by the 
base part of the pelican. And the landing gear on the front, the region I made, will also only shadow itself and not get shadowed by any other areas. On top of that, if you'll notice, the landing gear being tucked up in there makes this section pitch black as well because it casts a shadow back onto the hull. And that's kind of lame. So, uh, wait, can I do that? I don't know if I can do that. Never mind. That's just going to be a thing. So now if I re-import the model, theoretically, hopefully, yes, the shadows are fixed. Look at that landing gear. You can actually see it now. Fuck's sake, that took me for so long. I have been trying to fix that on so many different things for so goddamn long. Holy shit, uh, that took so long. Can I sound like Seth Rogen right now? I, I don't know how to take that, <laughs> but thanks, I guess. Uh, Xerxes has tipped uh, $5. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Since you brought up thick anime Cortana. Could we also get sub <coughs> Oh god, that hurts my throat. Could we also get submissive and breedable cat boy chief? Absolutely not. There will be no submissive breedable twinks in my halo. You may not receive them. Damn this boy thick. God damn. This boy do be thick. Goddamn. All oh, the landing gear animations. Oh, I'm in a nut. Look at this from the back. Right, here we go. Here we go. All this work over the past hour. Custom landing gear animations, regions, shadow overrides. Looks good. Oh, my thrust animation overlay did not take. I have to recreate it. Hold on. Pause. Pause. Okay, we're good. The thrust animation is back. Alright, we're good. And then when we get out of this thing... It's supposed to fall. Oh, there we go. Eh, good enough. Landing gear works. And for that, I am happy. Out of the way, you fucking Mega Mantis. It's kind of silly when it can just go back and forth midair diagonally like that. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Try not to think about it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, I still gotta fix that. More or less, it's decent though. That texture needs fixing, that hole needs patching. Surprisingly, when I stretch the front engines here, they don't look that unnatural. They look pretty good. I think I stretched them just enough to where they don't look weird. Pretty good. When do we get the Mac gun? Good question. In fact, let me see how I can attach the Mac gun.
So technically, the Mac gun does have a spot here. You know what I might do, though? To, because, okay, look, I'll be real with you. In Halo Wars, as an RTS, everything is cartoonish and overboard and not to scale. They still are good and lore, can't, or lore friendly and stuff, but I'm going to be real with you. There should not be a Mac cannon here. However, having a, a mounted Gauss cannon would be a reasonable, realistic alternative that makes sense. A big, powerful Gauss cannon, but not a whole entire fucking Mac cannon. I can get behind that. I think that's fair. And I kind of like the idea of having a big fucking Ma uh, uh, sorry Gauss cannon right here. I think that would be cool. To be real with you, I think the only reason that the Condor having a Mac cannon is canon is because it's an RTS game and you can get away with goofy over the top shit like that. So, now I need to come up with a cool Goss cannon design. Oni Pelican skin when? Uh, I think this is the Oni Pelican skin, more or less. Or no, there was like a whole separate variant for it in Halo Reach now that I think about it. That decal is it's it's not supposed to be there unacceptable unacceptable okay my cat did not like me breathing like that <laughs> okay that's better I'm happy I'll save that and export it later to be fair it is a mini Mac like the one from reach yeah, but like, come on, come on. You're not gonna throw a fucking giant Mac cannon onto a thing in real Halo lore. Like, it's very much a Halo Wars RTS, let's have some fun with it kind of thing, you know? Your cat told you to shut up. Yeah, pretty much, actually. <laughs> she literally did. She was like, shit, like, what the fuck? Are you good? Shut up. Stop making weird noises. <laughs> The Reach one is huge too. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like maybe I could take like the Warthog Goss Cannon or the Stationary Goss Turret from ODST like Anthony said and kit bash components to make a turret. I think that's a good point. Or you need to make a legit Halo Wars vehicle like big as fuck vehicles with massive guns for large scale battles. My preference is to take what I can of the Halo Wars vehicles and make them fit into the general um, Halo universe that the trilogy is like based off of and all that. By the way, this does not have an interior right now, but I am going to have to make an interior. So the reason this doesn't have an interior is because in Halo Reach, I don't know why they did this. I'm sure they had some reason for it, but in Halo Reach, the interior is like a separate object. Oh, I think they did it because um, of weird lighting issues, honestly. It's probably too dark normally for cutscenes and stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, the interior is a separate object in Halo Reach, so I'll probably just like, I'll, and because I made the, the bay, like the interior larger, this section, like you can tell, the condor that I made here, it's I stretched it a decent bit. Like it's gonna need, it's gonna need an edited interior. Don't join Minecraft tonight. Nobody's on to show what we built. Well, if I get on, other people might get on. Might work. Might work. Justice for joggers. Thank you for the fiver. Appreciate it. Hi, Dad. Please feed me. I'm sorry. What? Are you my cats? Explain. Explain yourself. Hey, RS. Or Kirim, first of all, good to see you. And thank you for the vibe. I appreciate it. Hey, RS. Sorry I'm late to the stream, man. Sorry to be bothered, but I'm going to send you something via Discord in a bit. If that's all G, my dude. Yeah, go for it. And I'm broke. What? Dude, don't send super chats if you're going to be broke. I'll feel bad. You got priorities to take care of. I know the struggle life.
well, successfully have animated and added effects and landing gear and a physics ball and everything for a custom Condor today. Feels pretty good to say that. I crave attention is the only way. I'll still see your chats. So you, you don't have to do it, I, I swear to you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I just looked it up on the wiki. It's a, not a man gun, it's a mass driver. So that way to get you to check DMs in fairness. True, that's actually pretty true. I will check it shortly. All right, it was a good looking pelican, but oh, excuse me, it needs an interior still and it needs weapons. And I'm going to be real with you. I think it's probably more important that it gets an interior than it getting weapons. So I should probably go grab the interior for it. Oh, I'm so tired. Fuck. I've only been streaming for two and a half hours. I hate being sick, dude. It feels like I've been streaming for like fucking ever. I'm exhausted. All right, whatever. I'll keep it up. We'll keep it going. We're moving along. We're moving along. Ah, okay. So. Uh, fuck. My brain is turning off. Uh, sickness do be a thing. Uh, Halo Reach. Halo Reach Interior. Inter okay, yeah, I gotta extract the interior from the Halo Reach Pelican, which should be doable with Reclaimer. A mass driver is a small Mac. What does that make a Gauss cannon? If a mass driver is a small Mac cannon, isn't a Gauss cannon basically a small mass driver? Just They just have different names for different sizes. Your scientists were so focused on the Condor that they forgot and neglected the con window. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Max stands for Magnetic Accelerator Cannon. It's just a big railgun. Oh, I forgot about that. What the fuck? I knew that when I was, like, so young because I loved Halo lore. And I literally forgot that, like, and I had no idea until you just said that. What the fuck? It's all the same technology and physics. The only difference is scale. Okay, good to know. Mass drivers are for shipping things to space, aren't they? Or for shipping a large hunk of tungsten directly at a Covenant fleet. My cat's getting in my lap. Come Oh, couldn't stay away, could you? You missed me too much. Yeah, I get it. Oh my god, you're purring so loud. I wonder if I can get this on mic. Oh my god, it's so loud. She's licking my finger. What's well, stop? Ow! Okay. Mm. Oh. That was some good cat ASMR for my kitty cat there. All right. Uh, I want to... Well, I'm tired. I need to see if I can get the interior put in here properly before my brain melts out of my ears. Uh, reclaimer, reclaimer, reclaimer. McRib is back. Let's go. Do a McDonald's shill in my chat? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, uh, and stream and stream tomorrow I could but I want to get this done not like done but I want to make more progress I like doing this stuff it's just hard to be 
Streaming on its own is difficult. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta open the other thing. Blah. Streaming on its own is taxing mentally, but streaming... I sound like your microwave. Okay, yeah. I'm a little sick, I will admit. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the best. But I'll be fine. I will be fine. Listen, streaming is my job, so the longer I stream, the more potential revenue there is, okay? You think about it like, I, like a business, which I don't really like to think about it like that, but I have to because that's that's the nature of being an online content creator. Okay, here is the Pelican interior model. Wow, this is going to have so many materials. Oh, wait, what the fuck? I can turn the seats on and off. That's cool. Uh, what else? That's everything. And then cockpit blood. Oh, my God. Damn, what the fuck? Carter got fucked up, dude. Look at all that blood. He really got fucking shredded, man. Goss guns and railguns guns. And Goss gun equals mass driver, which equals coil gun, which equals really tiny Mac cannon. Railgun equals railgun. Huh. Mac are actually guns. Mass drivers launch cargo crates. Both use the same tech in Halo lore. So basically, tomato, tomato. Gotcha. It's, I can basically call it. Oh, check the M's. You sent it. Okay. Actually, Kiram, I like that idea. That sounds pretty fun. If we could work something out and sort that out, I think that'd be a good idea. Also, can I show people the Warthog? Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to miss it before. All right, what do you guys think? This is Kiram's Warthog design. I will scream if you use Goss sounds. I'm not going to use Goss sounds. It'll sound cooler than that. I'll use the Halo Wars 2 Max sounds for sure. They sound a badass. It's a dope design, though. Who is that? Who is this guy? Who Who is this dude? Who is this? Explain! You sent the max sounds? Okay, okay. I probably won't, I'll get to the weapons like sometime tomorrow. And fuck it. It's all, I was supposed to stream for so long today, but I don't know, I might have to cut it short because I am fucking tired all of a sudden. I, I, I thought I was through with the fatigue part of the sickness, but apparently, <coughs> apparently, <coughs> <coughs> apparently not, ugh. Let me get more water. Uh, that's the wrong folder. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Condor Reach. Extracted. Pelican Reach. No, wait. Pelican Reach Interior. Okay, so this is my folder. I extract. AMF, JMS, OBJ, Kalata, and then I export all the bitmaps to the same place. And hopefully that's everything I need. The flu this year knocked everyone out for a week, probably just getting started. <laughs> Fuck, I hope not. This is like technically day two for me, I think, of being sick. Or three? I think it's day three. Oh, probably now. It also doesn't help I'm still on the European schedule. So for me right now, it's like really late, even though it's only 7 p.m. here. My cat's attacking me. Uh, don't forget the cockpit blood for the destroyed state because blood cool. I could actually do that. I won't 
because I'm lazy, but that's a cool idea. Is that jet lag? Yeah. Jet lag is just your body trying to cope with the fact that you are swapping time zones really fast, so you're just tired when everyone else is awake. Okay, um... What if I just put the interior inside the actual pelican? Well, I need to do that anyway so I can get the scale right, so... Fuck it. Uh, what? I am, <laughs> I am so tired, dude. Holy shit. I, <laughs> I just keep blanking. That is so bad. <laughs> okay, I think I have to do the reverse hatch and get this fixed up or else it's not gonna be good. Okay. Um, hatch lower. Is that all I need here? Make sure I'm getting everything. Looks like I've got it all. What's that? Big hey girl. <laughs> okay, let's see if that's everything I needed. I think it was. It looks like the entire door. No holes in it? Oh no, there's a hole in it. Ah, big one actually. Is that on the other side? Yeah, both sides have got a big old hole. Girl, I love you, but you really are just clawing my chest at this point. Ow. Girl, please! Stop licking me, your tongue hurts so bad! <laughs> I'm in pain. My cat loves me so much. Ow. She's trying to burrow into you. Oh god, she's like a little worm. Ugh. Okay, now what am I missing from the door? What parts are not here? I think that's everything, actually. I think for... Oh, no, wait. The entire side is gone. On both sides. Noted. Noted. Oh. How did I miss that? Okay, it looks like I, I think, I think I got it this time. Okay, I'm missing a triangle on the top of one side, and that's it. So close, so close to getting this door fixed. So, so close. Oh, I feel bad. I accidentally just kicked my chair just now. I think my cat thought I was like mad or something. Is that it? Did I get it? I think. I think I got it. All right, so that took a minute. You are the cat. And honestly, sometimes I feel that way. Uh, hatch, lower, assign, and then hatch, lower, select. There should not be anything here. Hatch, lower, remove. I join this back. And then I do select hatch lower. It's good. Then I go to 
the armature in pose mode. And if I did this right, oh, it's not str bitch. Wait, that might be fixable because they're not connected. Okay, that's fine. I know how to fix that. So that's because it was probably attached to hole or patch upper. So now if I try again, unless I misguessed which bone, there we go. Perfect patch. That makes me happy. Although I do think I got the positioning of this bone wrong, which is kind of awkward. Maybe. <laughs> I can't believe he never unmuted from earlier. This is going to make for an awkward vod. Shut up! This is a stupid bit. Right, you'll never get me. You'll never get me. It's too late. The amount of... I'm like shocked at the commitment to all of you to this bit. I swear to God, it is insane. You're all a fucking crazy people for this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just told you a really funny story. I need to see it in Discord. I'm going to die. It's so funny. You need to see it. Okay. This is bait. I feel like I'm being baited right now. Wait. That's a lie. There's no way that's real. And there is no way that is real. What the fuck? That's crazy. I could believe it. Also, Kiram, I saw it. Kiram outed all of you in chat, said my mic is not muted. For the record, get fucked. All right? All of you. Isn't that funny? That's fucking insane. I once was hanging out uh, with an ex of mine years ago, and she brought some of her friends over that she knew from high school. And then... The, they were like, oh, what do you do? What do you do? And I was like, oh, uh, I make videos. I like try to keep it vague because it's so awkward to explain that I do YouTube as a job. And then people are like, oh, let me look you up. And then one of them looked me up. He's like, oh, my God, no way. I used to watch your Minecraft videos. That's crazy. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> How's your relationship with Armin and Grace from the hunting? Uh, I haven't talked to them in a while. Uh, I think they're doing good. I see like updates and stuff from them every once in a while, but we just don't talk much these days. I should reach out. Um, but yeah, it's just not something that I've just thought about too much lately. I've been really caught up um, working away, doing the stuff. But as far as I know, they're doing good. Why is it all the way down there? Cursor to world origin. Import. Let's try that again. Oh, whoops. Third time's the charm. I used to watch the old Brian vids back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How the fuck is it awkward to say I have 300k subs and do this full time? That's the biggest flex ever. So the thing is, it sounds cool. And at first when I was doing YouTube, because I started when I was much younger, I thought it was really cool. I'm not one per I don't like to brag, first of all. I, I just, I don't. And I, I get it that like, I could be like, oh yeah, I do YouTube full time. And I could come off as like some guy. People are like, no way, that's crazy, dude. That's fucking sick. I don't like to do that though. I really don't like to do that at all. Um, I just think it's kind of awkward to be honest. Um, because then everyone, like 
I like to form actual connections with people and to be like, oh yeah, I do YouTube. Like, how many fucks do you think people give about me for my personality and who I am the moment they hear that I'm a famous YouTube guy? They, the, um, the, the fucking everything shifts completely. I don't want people to like me because I have a big YouTube number. I want people to like me because they had a quality interaction with me and they think I'm a decent human being. I think using my YouTube as like a way to get people to like me is weird. People who do it are weird. Depends on the person. I have learned that it affects everybody mostly equally the only people in my experience who don't really care about how many subscribers you have are people that have more subscribers than you other than that people always care at least a little bit they're like wow this person's kind of a big deal i'm like what would you have thought if you just didn't know Yeah, I like to keep it low key. If I can, you can't always. Should I be humble about it? I just, I don't lie to anyone about it. Like, I'm never gonna like just be like, oh, I'm, I'm an accountant. You know, I'll tell people if they ask, but I usually I just try to keep it vague. But people try to press. I mean, I don't know. It gets me free drinks and shit, so I can't really complain. Like, I was at a bar and like people offer me like drinks and fucking. I've been offered fucking drugs before. Because, oh, just because of that. I, I'm, I'm not even joking. People have just been like, oh, no way, dude. You do YouTube here? Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> do you want drugs? I'm like, what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> what? Should I, should I add more seats, like, actually? I could literally extend this by, like, duplicating bits. Also, look how much more space the Condor has. It can fit, like, four more people in the back. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> but you still took the drugs, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Add more seats by duplicating. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do actually is just because like this is a very duplicatable like set of objects. I think I'll do that. This is literally the poop limo version of the Pelican. <laughs> take that back. Hey, wait a minute, take that back right now. What the fuck? <laughs> it could fit a warthog? Yeah, it could. If I'm not mistaken, this back part is also supposed to be cargo space. Like there's supposed to be a whole ass cargo door right here that can open up and fold down like a second cargo bay for like stuff i don't know mongooses or something but i don't know animal jihad thank you for the two dollars appreciate it why say no to free drugs at least to resell them i never said what i said <laughs> that's all i'm saying <laughs> in fact this is all a totally made up story let's not get any further into it anyway Hmm. 
a decent amount of space in here. It should be easy to duplicate this. My brain is just turning off. I think I've been streaming for three hours and as being sick, three hours is just a long time for me. So maybe I should just call it a day and, and finish this uh, tomorrow. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just tired. And honestly, you know what, that, that's, you know what I'll do though, instead of just turning stream off, I am going to turn you all over to somebody else who's working on the Condor, which is Abyss, who right now, let's see, oh wait, he might be doing something even cooler than just the Condor, Colossus DevStream 3. Guys, Abyss is a talented modder. He is a really cool dude, and right now he is making... Uh, his, oh no, he's doing the his mod's name's Colossus. He is working on the Halo Reach, Halo 4 styled HD Condor. So if you enjoyed watching me do the Condor, guys, go check out Abyss's stream because I am getting off. Also, his URL has come in all caps. You have to watch his stream. The URL literally says come. It says Dr. Come. Dude, you can't make that shit up. The URL literally says Dr. Come. You have to go watch Abyss. All right. I'm 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 ending the stream for the night. Go watch Abyss. Work on his Halo Reach Condor. His, the URL says Dr. Come. All right. You, you already know you have to watch when that shit's happening. Have a wonderful night, you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget, Minecraft server rejected tomorrow. I promise tomorrow. I'm, I'll see what everybody did tomorrow. I'm just exhausted. I'm going to go pass the fuck out. I, I can barely keep my eyes open. I'm so, I, ooh, sickness sucks. Longer stream tomorrow, I promise. So long as I'm feeling good. Have a wonderful night, you guys. Go check out Abyss' stream. Again, link's right here. I really appreciate the tip jar has been blasted today. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the super chats, all the participation. Genuinely, you guys have great ideas. I love talking with you. I mean it when I say I have, I'm lucky as fuck to have a fantastic community, one of the best communities around. You guys are wonderful. Go support Abyss and his cool ass Condor he's doing. Have a wonderful night, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Longer stream, Minecraft, maybe Halo Wars. We'll see. Peace out. Have a good night, everybody.